It's time to put on the kettle, Telly lovers. Today, I'm introducing you to three sleeper comedies from within the past few years that got me snorting tea through my nose. I have to say, all of them also tugged at my heartstrings too. I'm going to start with a series that is most like a typical Britcom. The other one is about a young woman whose father dies suddenly, and at his funeral, she and her mother discover that he had another family. There's some interesting, unexpected parallels and contrasts that unfold between the two families and a lot of growing pains as they get to know each other. He's dead to me. He's dead to all of us. He's dead. This series is easy to love right from the start and it makes for a super easy binge with a lot of funny twists and turns. The hilarity eventually gives way to some tender moments as the characters bond on a deeper level. You'll enjoy some familiar actors in the show. For example, Siobhan Finneran as the mistress is dynamite. Your dad was my sexual zenith. In the US, there are two seasons available on Acorn TV, the second of which was released in 2022. In the US, you can subscribe through your Amazon Prime Video account. It's one of those shows that you can easily devour within a seven-day free trial if there's one available. There hasn't been a lot of information released about the next season yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled and I will report back as soon as I hear something. Stand-up comedian Goose Khan's brainchild Man Like Mabeen is about a reformed drug dealer who's trying to create a positive life for his younger sister and his community in general. What I love most about this show is that it provides a great look at the Muslim community, one that you don't normally hear about beyond stereotypes. You may not recognize many of these actors, but they are all so good. And although there is a specific cultural context here, the characters are still very universal. You've got the creepy elders, Walk away, bitch. the dim-witted sidekicks, the sassy younger sister, and the hero who is just trying to hold it all together. How do you think we're gonna get rid of it? I'll have to do it. The series starts out as a Burkham, but it, it evolves into more of a dramedy. It starts off kind of silly to be honest, but it gets better with every episode. As the series progresses, it still retains its humor, but the latter episodes get a lot more heartfelt, more serious, and a lot more real. And before I knew it, I had binged all three seasons. You can watch Man Like Mabeen on Netflix US. There is a fourth season reportedly coming sometime in the future as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. <laughs> Hard Cell is the creation of comedian Catherine Tate, who you might recognize from her show of the same name. The show is a bit like The Office meets Orange is the New Black. It's about a thespian turned women's prison warden who tries to give the inmates in her charge a creative outlet. Musicals in prison, hell to the yet. Be aware, the show was panned by critics and it ended up being canceled after season one. It gives no fiddles in its humor and offending others, and there is a good bit of toilet humor. Despite this, a lot of general audience members seem to enjoy it, myself included. The series takes something as complex as a women's prison and makes it easily digestible with simple humor and easy characters, even if they are a bit cringy at times. The characters do evolve and the ending has a lot of heart that you wouldn't expect from the earlier episodes. The ending is a little bit of a cliffhanger, but not so much that you're left in pure agony. You can kind of imagine how things progress after the credits roll and fill in your own version of events. I know I'm giving it a hard sell, but I promise it's worth a watch through to the end. You can find Hard Sell on Netflix US. Let's break some misconceptions. Let's smash some stereotypes. Be yourself. I highly recommend all three of these shows the next time you're after a good laugh. If you've already checked them out, I'd love to hear your take on them in the comments. Join me back next week for a new video. I promise it will be titillating. Thanks again for your company today and a big ta until next time.